we are doing a road trip from Minnesota to Connecticut, and I am gonna try to stop in every state along the way and penny board. This is the first state, my home state, Minnesota. So much greenery. Day number one, check, let's go. We are at a rest stop just southeast of Black River Falls, Wisconsin. We're about like two hours, 20 minutes into the trip. This is my first stop. It might be my only one, but I wanted to stretch out. I really had to go to the bathroom and we're at this area, so we'll just cruise around a little bit. Let's go with Stanford. We just left my family's house in Illinois. This is their neighborhood. I have like 15 hours to go. I'm gonna get on the road because I have a lot more in the next two days and I don't actually know where I'm staying tonight. So let's get going, baby. just drove through Indiana and didn't really even realize it. Yeah, I think I drove through. Scan ticket. Processing. Please wait. Getting through Chicago was probably the worst part so far. And then we finally got through that and then it was like smooth sailing, but wanted to like stand up and move because my body's starting to feel sick and tired of sitting. And then after talking to her, I felt better. I was like, okay, I'll stop in like half an hour. And then I just kind of lost track of time. It all looks the same. I'm just driving. And then lo and behold, an hour and a half goes by. I don't even realize it. But yeah, I guess I am not gonna be able to penny board in Indiana. So if you live in Indiana, I'm sorry. Ohio. You know how I mentioned an hour and a half flew by after I talked to my mom? Well, I just found out an hour and a half did fly by. Only a half an hour flew by. I crossed the time zone. Totally forgot that was a thing, but it was like shocked that it's this far west on like the East Coast time. But that means literally a half hour passed. Only a half an hour passed. Thought I was doing so good. Oh, we still got a long way to go. I got a bag of Cheerios. Pennsylvania! 
I left at 9.45 out of Loves Park, Illinois, and got to Erie, Pennsylvania by 7 p.m. Eastern time. Now I'm gonna see if there's a pool. They said there might be one in the back. So we're gonna be going. a bummer. Last night in Pennsylvania, last night of the road trip. This has been quite the adventure. I started yesterday in Minnesota, ended up in Illinois, spent the entire night with my relatives. So freaking fun. Haven't seen them in so many years. Getting through Chicago, crazily past Indiana, and then Ohio, hello. And then we got through Ohio. Didn't even get to show you Cleveland. We ended up here in Erie, Pennsylvania. It's just really surreal. And this is this is a big moment for me just in general because I've never done this. I've never done a solo road trip. Obviously, I've been on road trips with other people. It's a different animal when you, you're driving yourself and it's just you and it's wild, it's adventurous. It's fun having a penny board to be able to explore these little areas. This thing you can explore and see a, a lot of it in a short amount of time. So traveling with a penny board is wonderful. Even when you're not flying, even when you just want to grab it and go, and quickly shoot out and see the sunset as it goes down and there's like pink clouds in the sky and it's just nuts it's just a wonderful life look at that baby crispy cream <laughs> we got the donuts baby ah! we got these the passport to paris ones i'm gonna wait and save them with sydney though so it's gonna be tempting me all drive. So we stopped in Utica or like around Utica, New York and definitely surprised by the drive. It's been very similar. It's just like one road that you're on or one highway basically that you're on the entirety. So my body's really feeling this. It does not wanna get in the car at all. I have about four hours of driving time down. I have three to go, but my body is not liking this. It does not, it does not want to get back in the car. Well, we made it to Massachusetts, the last state before Connecticut. I am definitely feeling ready to be done. My back is feeling it like no other. And I almost got in an accident and that was the most terrifying thing of the entire trip. Feels good to get out and stretch. This is my last stop. Just over an hour to go, baby. And then we're back. And I'm gonna not sit for the rest of forever. We have officially made it back. There's the apartment building. There's our lovely little vehicle that made it safely and we are here. 
It is just past six o'clock. I left around 10, 20, 10, 30 this morning. And then we stopped to get some donuts. We went through Erie and then we pretty much did a straight shot of four hours before stopping once. And then I was trying to get it the whole way, but I couldn't make it. So we stopped once more, made it back officially. Thank goodness, first road trip successfully from basically halfway across the country. I'm super thrilled and just so glad to be done. So there we go, baby. Let's do one final send off on the board and finalize the trip to completion.